Starting next year, HBO has announced that it's cutting the cable cord. You'll no longer be able to watch their shows on cable TV. Instead, you'll have to pay HBO directly to see the programming on the Internet. The head of HBO says it's a way to reach the 80 million households without cable. So could this change how the rest of us pay for our TV shows? That's a good question, and Heather Brown joins us right now. You know I love Game of Thrones. <laughs> I, I do. Think I would I would get that. Yeah, you would get that, but the question is, would you give up the rest of your cable package? That is the big one out there. We don't know what this HBO service will cost quite yet, but it sure has people wondering, why don't cable companies just let us pay for what we want? I love HGTV. My husband loves ESPN. Yep. What are we supposed to and do? My husband loves history and HGTV. I can't live without. On average, we have 180 cable channels. There was 57 channels and nothing on. But only watch between 10 and 15. <laughs> I'm paying a lot of money for certain shows. I know it's ridiculous. I think the cable company should let us pick which channels we want and let us pick our own packets. An idea called a la carte cable. Even Senator McCain is pushed for legislation supporting it. It keeps getting brought up you know, in, in Congress, and it keeps getting buried. The cable industry does not want a la carte cable. Jeff Kagan is a technology industry analyst. At some point, it's going to have to change. I don't really see it changing yet. One study found with a la carte cable, 56 channels would survive and 124 would disappear because they wouldn't have enough viewers. Independent film channel, I guess I'd be sad if that went away. People would end up paying more, like $30 a month for ESPN. One of the biggest reasons I keep cable is uh, live sports. In 2013, cable and satellite companies lost 250,000 of its more than 100 million customers. The internet is where it's at. It's not over cable anymore. Oh yeah, I have Hulu and Netflix. So HBO wants to be a player in that new world, and that's why they're staking their claim. This industry is going through a major historic transformation. It's going to look entirely differently when it gets through. But the experts say it's really hard to know what that will be when it gets through. Because think about it, seven years ago, we didn't even know what an iPhone was. And the music industry, look how quickly that transformed. But ultimately, some say that this HBO move won't have a huge impact. What's really going to be the game changer, as you just said? Live sports. Yeah. 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 It'll be interesting, though, to see what mm -hmm. happens. Right. And, you know, if they will get a lot more viewers, a lot more consumers get, just buying that. Right. Well, those are the two biggies. I mean, HBO and live, you know, and ESPN, ESPN is, are those why are, people get cable. Those so. are part of, yeah, the two of the big reasons people yeah. get cable. Interesting to see if people who don't have cable will sign up yeah. for HBO. Changes. Know, times are All changing. Right. All right. Thank, Thank you, Heather. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm. If you have a good question for us, you can email Heather by going to WCCO.com slash links.